is how to install your stainless steel bench scale on your stainless steel bench scale cart. It is important to note that before starting, make sure that your wheels are in the lock position so the cart cannot move. With a pair of cutters or a knife, cut the bands that hold your scale together. in the box. Please note that our our stainless steel scales are packed in styrofoam, our column, the bracket, the hardware to mount the indicator, and any additional hardware. For this process, we will be utilizing the Allen key and not using this foot. As you can see, your indicator comes pre-wired and pre-connected from the factory. Lift the column from this styrofoam packing and unwrap the plastic shrink wrap to prevent from scratch. As you may have seen in our previous video where we installed the mild steel scale into the stainless steel cart, there are some subtle differences. This column is a one piece column, cable runs through here. In order to do this effectively and easily, you will have to mount the indicator to the column first. Uh, otherwise you'll be juggling three or four different parts and you may damage the indicator in the installation process. We'll go ahead and install the bracket and the indicator on the column. After removing the screws, mount the column with the bracket as such. Remove the indicator from the plastic bag and now locate the mounting brackets or the mounting knobs. Now the indicator is mounted on the column. Note that it will freestand. It is very stable and has excellent balance. We'll now move on to removing the scale from the box and preparing to set it into the bench scale part. After you remove the top of the bench scale, remove the shipping stops from the four corners of the bench. These are the screws that we're going to use to mount the column to the bench scale cart. Go ahead and remove those now. And then we will proceed to the next stop. And now we'll proceed to the next step, which is installing the bench scale and the column 
into the cart. For this next procedure, uh, I've enlisted the help of one of our uh, staff. Uh, it is recommended because of the weight of the scale and the potential for damage that we uh, do a team lift. I'll lift the uh, indicator in the column and show you the procedure and uh, Daniel will take care of the scale so we don't damage our home run cable or cord from the load cell and he'll be placing the scale into the frame. Pick the column up, drop the column through the center of the scale, tilt, rotate, make sure your cable, go ahead and load the scale in place. And without bolting or unbolting the scale, we now have the indicator ready to mount with our provided mounting brackets here. Using the provided screws we removed earlier and the provided Allen key, we will go ahead and mount our column onto the bench scale cart. Again, we are going to utilize a team lift. I'm going to have Daniel go ahead and hold our bracket in place and I will start to mount first finger tight. Um, it's probably best to do opposite corners when doing the mounting and not to tighten it down all the way. Once you have two screws started, go ahead and let it loose a little bit. Use the provided Allen key. And again, do a cross pattern to ensure that the screws are secure and snug. Now that you have the column and the scale in place, let's go ahead and take care of this cable. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit excessive, but easy to manage. Bend, fold, and in this case, we're going to go ahead and use a simple twist tie to secure our cable in the provided hole here in the back. Uh, you can use a zip tie. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our rubber mat back in place. Put the standard stainless steel bench top or the optional roller top. I hope this video has been helpful and informative and uh, if you have any questions please do feel free to reach out.